For more videos, visit for the sake of education.com or support me at patreon.com forward slash Dexter Bells. All right, guys, let's do this very easy problem that says determine the reactions at pin A and the tension in court BC if the force is 40 kilonewtons and then neglect the thickness of the beam. So A, as you can see, we have a pin. So we have both a vertical and horizontal reactions. So the vertical is called it AY, horizontal is called it AX. And then we have a certain tension at B. So let's call it T. You know that F is equal to 40 kilonewtons. So easy. Let's find the tension first. Should be easy to find. You know that the tension has a Y component and an X component. This will be the X component, TX, and this will be the Y component, TY. So let's call that TY and let's call this TX. So TX is equal to T times 3 over 5. And TY is equal to T times 4 over 5. Keep that in mind. Now, sum of the moments at A is equal to 0, assuming clockwise is positive. So we have the 26k newton force. So it's the 26 kilonewton force is creating a moment times 12 over 13 times the distance from A, from here to here, which we have 2 meters. So 2 meters. Why? 12 over 13. Because this has two components. A Y component going straight down and an X component going straight towards A. The component going straight towards A is creating absolutely no moment. And that component is equal of 26K times 5 over, over 13. But it's creating no moment. And the Y component of the 26K is equal to 26k times 12 over 13, that's the only one creating a moment, times the distance 2, which is the arm that is turning clockwise, of course, so it's positive, plus the 40k, which is going straight down, so that's good, 40k, times the distance at each which is applied, which is from A all the way to here, which is 2 plus 6, which will make it, I mean, 2 plus 4, which will make it 6 meters, minus the tension is creating a moment only on the Y component. Only the Y component of the tension is creating a moment at A. And the Y component of the tension is T times, actually I wrote this backwards, this is 3 over 5 and this is 4 over 5. So 3 over 5 times 6 and that is equal to 0. So as you can see, the only one we're missing is the tension. So we can find the tension by solving for it. And we're going to get that the tension is equal to 80 kilonewtons. Now, sum of the forces in the X is equal to zero. In the X, we have AX minus the 26K, the X component of the 26K, which is 26K times 5 over 13 going towards the left, so it's negative, plus the tension times 4 over 5. That's in the x. And that is equal to 0. We got the tension, so we just plug it in and solve for ax, and you're going to get that ax is equal to negative 54 kilonewtons. And as you can see, I was wrong, so that means that ax is equal to 54 kilonewtons going towards the left that's why it turned out negative so you got to correct it on your on your uh, diagram and when you correct it make sure you make a note you corrected it correct it so it's 54 kilonewtons going towards the left and let me go up here, because I'm running out of space. Some of the forces in the Y is equal to zero. In the Y, we got a Y going up, minus the 26K times 12 over 13 going down, minus 40 going down, plus 80, which is the tension, times three over five. And all of that is equal to zero. So the only variable is AY, which is solved for AY, and you're going to get that AY is equal to 16 kilonewtons. Final answer, going up.
tension is 80 kilonewtons and 54 going to the left is AX on kilonewtons. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.